Sarah Lacey here with the Southeast Asian edition of Ask a VC Part 2. We are, I would show you a beautiful waterfront, but uh, it's all construction. That's emerging markets for you. Um, but you can tell by that seafood sign that I'm finally eating some crab. This is the black pepper crab in it. Oh, the chili crab just arrived. So we're about to chow down and have an amazing meal. But before we do that, I have my second VC victims in Southeast Asia, um, the guys from East Ventures, who, as far as I can tell, are the only people actively investing in Indonesia. So start out, introduce yourselves to the TechCrunch audience, guys. Hi, uh, I'm Chandra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the managing partners of East Ventures, Singapore. Yeah. And? Wilson. Hi, I'm, I'm Wilson. <laughs> so tell us um, just really quickly uh, what your investment focus is, um, where you invest, the type of stage of company you like, and you know whether it's focused on the internet or kind of across the, the spectrum. We, we focus on uh, consumer web and mobile, very early stage mm -hmm. company uh, based in Indonesia and Singapore. Mm -hmm. And you're, you know, by early stage you mean you're usually like the first money in, it's kind of like a seed deal, is that right? Yeah. Okay, what's your typical deal size? Uh, below 1 million USD. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And you guys are new, you just launched in like February, is that right? Uh, end of last year, so it less than a year. Wow. And how many deals have you done so far? Six. Four so. in Indonesia, two in Singapore. So does that mean Indonesia is better than Singapore? No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, it's just that we focus in Indonesia. Yeah, because we are quite familiar with the Indonesian market, that's why we focus more. Yeah, uh -huh. We are open with the uh, Asian market as well. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So let's get to some reader questions. Um, so uh, Brian wants to know what the top blogs and sites for people who want to understand the Southeast Asian web market are. Top blog. Top blogs or sites, news things you read that help explain what's going on in Southeast Asia. I think e27.sg is a good one. Uh huh. Singapore and they start covering like Malaysia, Indonesia. For Indonesia, which the area that we focus, you can read like Daily Social. Net, you have Techno Journal, uh, Nothingnot.com, mm -hmm. yes, those are couples. Okay. Um, uh, someone else, I think, sorry I didn't write down this person's name, I always feel like a jerk when I don't write down the person's name, wants to know what the status of online and mobile payments is in Southeast Asia. Um, you know, obviously China's done some work pioneering this, India has as well. Um, in Indonesia and Singapore, you know, Malaysia, is it is there a pretty easy system basically for e-commerce for virtual goods? For e-commerce in in uh, Singapore, I think it's really easy because there are many payment uh, solutions, mm -hmm. for mobile. But for Indonesia, it's not really, not really. Uh, we are still looking for a good solution in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. What about the legal requirements to set up a company? Um, what country in Southeast Asia is the easiest to set up a, country, a company? What's the hardest? The easiest one, I think, is Singapore. Yeah. The hardest one, uh, I shouldn't say the hardest, but uh, there will be more on the administration side, which is Indonesia, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of paperwork and so on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, they're bringing us even more food, guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to get to dig in in a second. All right, um, yeah, this is something we were talking about a minute ago. A lot of uh, companies talk about this need to be global from day one. You know, I tend to like finding startups that are really serving, um, you know, either a domestic or regional market. What's you guys take on that for, for the companies you like to invest in? Do you like companies that focus globally, or do you like focus companies that fo really focus on a domestic market and then maybe try to expand from there, which is the better path? We prefer, especially for Indonesia, we prefer a company that focuses on domestic market mm -hmm. because we believe the potential of that particular market. Currently, the internet penetration is about 5.5%, mm -hmm. and we think there's an area to grow. It's good if they can exploit that. Mm -hmm. Same with you? Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, what about a smaller market like Singapore? I mean, the companies that you fund in Singapore, do they need to focus on 
being everywhere? Do they need to f focus on being a hub for Southeast Asia? Do they need to focus on India, China? I mean, where's the big domestic market for Singapore? Because it's only, you know, five million people here. Yeah. I think for the Singapore company, they can focus, uh, they can start the product in Singapore first because in Singapore, you have a good infrastructure, you have a good engineering team. Mm -hmm. Then from there, they can expand to probably Southeast Asia mm -hmm. or probably go to US as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you guys fund, I know you, you invest early stage. Um, do you are you much of an incubator? Do you give any sort of space? Do you give a lot of mentoring? Are you just like a source for cash? Uh, not really for cash only, uh, and not for space because most of those entrepreneurs in Indonesia they have their own offices. Mm -hmm. They have put in some money to start the company. So we just uh, try to uh, uh, expand their product. To, uh, to help them go to the market uh -huh. and also we have this kind of uh, uh, monthly meeting. Mm -hmm. Normally we ask them all come to Singapore every month where both our partner from Japan will also fly into Singapore then we just have our monthly meeting here. Uh -huh. Once in three months we will, all of us will go to, the, go to Indonesia to, to meet them. Uh -huh. So that kind of mental city. That's interesting. I mean, that's very similar to, to like the NASPERS model, the NASPERS MIH model, where, you know, a lot of people want to be in the portfolio, like Buscape and, you know, Tencent can be in the same portfolio as you and like give people a lot of advice on, you know, how you scale things out. It's not something you necessarily see in the Valley a lot, even though, you know. I don't know. I can't comment on that. Uh-huh. Cool. Okay, so two more questions. What is your advice for companies like Facebook, Twitter, Foursquare that are seeing big swells of traffic in Indonesia but have no idea sort of what to do with it? I think they should come to Indonesia first, mm -hmm. experience the user base, the community. Then from there, I think they will know what to do. Mm -hmm. Anything to add, Chandra? Uh, yes, yeah, same as Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. And then last question. You both have to answer this one. Who has better food, Singapore, <laughs> Singapore or Indonesia? <laughs> Both have great foods. <laughs> oh come on! Yeah. You can tell he's the one that was in investment banking. Wilson, what do you think? Uh, the taste, I think Indonesia food is good, uh -huh. but the variety is Singapore. Mm. I think it's Indonesia. I'm gonna get hate mail for that though. All right, thank you guys so much. Thank we you. will let you. Speaking of food, dig into this, and uh, we expect to see big things from you in Indonesia. Oh, yeah.